What up, beloveds? This is your girl, Beanie. Welcome to my channel where I offer you sprinkles, a spiritual sassiness. What guan, what guan, pula. No, I'm not Jamaican, but you know, all of my friends are like from the islands, and I used to practice dutty whining in eighth grade in the bathrooms, and I love roti and I love dutty whining and slow wine. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, what are we talking about today? Oh yeah, we are talking about, um, you don't always, you don't just get what you pray for. So, you're doing the manifesting thing, you're doing the praying thing, you're high vibes, you're in alignment, you're frequency, and all that, and, uh, you're getting what you, what you asked for, right? But, or you haven't gotten what you've asked for, and you're in high vibes, and you're asking God, and you're doing everything right, and you haven't gotten what you've asked for. There's many reasons for that. One reason is that God is still working on some things in you, and God is also working on other things that you don't know about, so that when you get the thing you're asking for, it's like, it's awesome, it's perfect, there's no sorrow with it, whatever, whatever. But... Uh, a few weeks ago, I was I was meditating, and I heard, why are you still asking for the same thing? Like, it's gonna happen. But you also need to know that what you're praying for has is going to come with some things. And it's gonna come with things that, it's gonna come with things that you are unaware of, right? So, basically, I was hearing, like, it's going to come with people trying to take advantage of me. It's going to come with fake people. It's going to come with people who are going to try to use me or who are going to try to um, um, just do wrong, right? So what I'm praying for is what is ordained for my life, right? So really there's no need to pray for that because it's already going to happen. But what I was learning was that what we pray for is it, we don't just get what we pray for we get the other things that are attached to that and god is building us up so that we can handle the things that the blessing comes with so that the blessing is not you know troublesome to us or that it's not a burden you know so um i guess really i'm saying like understand that oh god please bless me with a car bless me with a car and god blesses you with the car but you know you got that car note right and you know you gotta pay insurance, right? And you know you gotta uh, pay for gas, right? And you know you gotta pay for maintenance, right? So every blessing comes with these kind of realistic, I don't wanna say negative, but, and I kinda wanna use the word persecutions where it's just like, it's not always gonna be like perfect. It's not gonna be just like, oh, you get the blessing and then that's it. No, it's, it's with everything. You're praying to God for a baby. Okay, and then you have the baby. That baby's gonna wake you up at three in the morning. The baby's gonna be pooping all over your hands. The baby's gonna be crying. You're gonna have to like breastfeed if that's your choice. Like, uh, 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 like <laughs> every blessing comes with a thing. And I think we need to start praying into God, don't just bless me with this because I know you're gonna give this to me. Bless me with the ability to be able to handle what comes with that blessing. Bless me with the uh, ability to, to with grace, handle, yes, maybe use the term persecutions that come with this. Give me the ability to turn, to make sure that this blessing is not a burden, you know, because God is faithful. God is unlimited. God is going to give you everything that is on your heart because God put it there. So you're going to get it, but you just have to ask him to build up your character, build up your heart build up understanding and wisdom to be able to handle the things that come with the blessing. You know, people talk about it all the time. Like, you know, being famous is not that popping because it's like you deal with so much crap you didn't even know you had to deal with. But that's why I love praying. That's why I love meditating because I'm able to receive answers from the spiritual realm um, and it doesn't leave me blindsided when when blessings come with these attachments. I already know what's to come because I'm, because I'm centered and I'm in alignment. So... That's why I'm constantly encouraging you guys, like, we don't have the answers, like, God's spirit does. So be in alignment and be in tune with that, because that's going to release confusion, and, and that's going to give you clarity, and that's going to have you just, like, stop praying about what is what is going to happen, and start praying into, God, get me ready for what you 
what you have called for me, what you have ordained for me. Um, so guys, like continue to just pray, continue to just meditate, continue to just be in gratitude, thanking God every morning for every little thing in between the complaining also be thankful. So I hope this video was clear. I know I was kind of like all over the place, but okay, if you've been watching this channel, you know that's how it be sometimes. You know, you just be like on a spiritual rant or whatever. I came up with a word called spratchet, like a spiritual ratchet. Is that like a thing? Can we make it a thing? A spratchet or a spiritual ratchet? I'm not sure. I'm still working on it. But, um, yeah, you know, I'll just be silly or whatever. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to click the links below if you're interested in my four-week self-love e-course or purchasing my body butters. Um, I thank you guys. I love you guys. Stay in alignment. Stay with God. Let's go into the new year knowing who we are, not dealing with any nonsense and just going in strong and empowered and knowing that like the blessings are going to start raining down. Thank you guys. Love you.